uh, Uvalde, Texas. It's a little community, about uh, 16,000 uh, population. Right now, we're right here across the street from the mass murder of all the children and the teacher. You can only imagine what these guys here across the street were going through when the shooting was going on. They got officers posted up now. Over there. And over there. So it's a little too late for that. Hopefully they look themselves in the mirror and ask themselves and tell themselves I could have, would have, should have, but didn't. You know, there was all these officers, all these uh, state troopers, border patrol. Well, they could go in history for the most cowardice of They did nothing. Nothing helped the kids out. They all wanted to act like they were uh, uh, directing traffic that day, act like security guards, trying to hold back the residents from coming in. They heard the shots, they wanted to go in and save their children. You know. It's just like when you go to the pen, you know, you get clicked up, you know, even before you go to the pen, you know what you signed up for. And uh, you're facing the opposition in there. You know you're outnumbered. You know they might have bigger pieces. You know they might have more razors. But, you know, you're bound by honor. No matter what the consequence or the outcome of the situation, you're going to go in, you're going to fight. Well... That's what these guys should have done. They hold a badge. And they're here to protect and serve, which they failed miserably. They didn't protect or serve. The only pe persons that they did protect and serve was themselves, you know? I mean, they didn't, uh, they didn't do nothing. They didn't do nothing. Over an hour and a half, this guy was in the school, and instead of going in there, somebody taking initiative, you know, and, you know, I mean, there should have been at least one officer go in there and, you know, take initiative. You could only imagine how these kids felt. No protection, hopeless, you know what I mean? No, and, and I mean, these officers, they had, They've got uh, armor shields. They've got uh, bulletproof vests. You know what I mean? They've got uh, uh, tactic forces. You know, snipers, rifles, shotguns. But now they can thank themselves for being the most cowardisms. That's even a word in history. Go over here, babe. You know, now they're posted up here. Why even here now? You're too late. You know what I mean? The damage is done. Just a, a feeling, I mean, just imagining them. You know, a teacher's only trained to do so much. And a teacher is trained to, you know, get underneath your desk in case of a hurricane, tornado, earthquake. And that basically put them in as uh, sitting ducks.
mean, I ain't got no more to say. But cowardism to the PDS, to the state troopers, to the border patrol. We just stood by and watched. There's a teacher. We didn't make it. This was her husband who died a few days later from a broken heart, basically. He had a heart attack. <clears throat> Here they all are right here, looky. All their names. All their faces up there in the front. They got their pictures up there in the front. Oh, they got them all over. Cowardism in day in history. Imagine the residents, you know, hearing the shots and stuff. And then the 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 parents who live right across the street from the school. You know what I mean? Look at all the houses around the around the school. Uh, being Texas, you would even thought that somebody would have went in there with a gun, you know? Something, man. It's crazy. Oh wow, look at that. 